And that is really going to be what sets you apart. This opportunity isn't one that everybody has. And so really take advantage of it. And with that, don't minimize your passions. As a person, you have the opportunity to pursue it in itself is a gift. <laughs> Hey beautiful, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. My name is Jazz, if this is our first time meeting. I usually don't film with my glasses because I feel like without them I can like see more directly into the camera. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but we're just gonna get into the video. Also, it's late. I meant to film earlier, so sorry the lighting isn't as good. I didn't want to like put a light up and then it's like reflecting in my glasses and it's a whole thing. So today we're going to be talking about figuring life out. I think that especially when you're striving, 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 working so hard, putting all of this effort into one being responsible with whatever it is god has given you and two accomplishing your dreams your goals and your passions it feels like there is this ultimate destination or like there's always something that you need to figure out or gain to be able to be satisfied to feel like you finally figured it out and honestly i think this idea of something that needs to be figured out is a really, really big hindrance to a lot of our growth. And the reason why isn't because it's a goal, but because it makes us feel farther behind than we actually are. It's kind of like how people talk about the importance of being a forever learner. Similarly, you're never really gonna get to a point where there isn't something to figure out. And when you're in that early 20s stage, like I am literally right now, we're here, we see each other, you feel really really uncertain when you don't have some things figured out and it's like i don't know we like judge ourselves honestly for not having things figured out which is insane because like we just established nothing is ever fully figured out and two like we just got here i remember i heard someone speak about how the fact of like in at least this western society 18 is the age that you turn into an adult and so at 20, at 21, you're a three-year-old adult. Like there's still so much growing, developing to do. And so as you're starting to figure, figure things out and grow and explore, here are just a few tips to keep you encouraged, a few things that have helped me. Obviously, like I am, I'm 21 right now, so I can't speak too much. Um, but I remember those years of like being in high school, being in like my teens throughout college, um, getting ready to graduate and then now starting my career. Um, there's some things that I have learned that hopefully I can share and that are helpful. So the first thing that I would say is that you actually really do have to plant seeds. Like we all know those people in class that didn't have to study and got A's. We all know them. Sometimes you are that person. I was that person. I remember in high school, especially the first years when those classes were easy, I did not have to study. Like, let me just look at this right before. I can do well. But as the years went on, as college came, as classes got harder, if I wasn't studying, there were some classes like chemistry, I was gonna fail, like literally fail. And so you have to learn how to plant the seeds. And there are some people who get lucky, like especially as you get older, Nepo babies, all that stuff, that's real, just is what it is, that's life. Some people get things handed to them on a silver platter and some people don't. And when you see somebody achieve success, whether they had a lot of help or not, they put in the work behind the scenes to make that happen. And so wherever you are now and wherever it is you want to be, know that you are not going to get there without putting in a considerable amount of work. And not only that, but without building yourself into a person who would be fitting for that position. For example, the company that I work at right now, people who work there are known for having a strong work ethic. I didn't get a strong work ethic when I started working there. I've been developing this work ethic since middle school, since my freshman year of college, since my mom, when I was a kid, made us do summer school because she didn't want us to fall behind. That's when I started developing a strong work ethic. So now when I step into these spaces, even on those days that I'm tired, even on those weeks where maybe I'm not doing my best, who I am at my core is somebody with a strong work ethic. Why? Because I've been developing that over the years. And so 
wherever you are now, think, yes, of course, like when we think of planting seeds, we think of like, for example, if I wanna grow my channel, posting on YouTube, um, we think of reaching out to people on LinkedIn, we think of all of those things, but I really feel like what the core of it is, what you can really do is to think of the things the qualities of the person that is who you want to be and start to start to make sure you're putting yourself through things that allow that to happen and also be open to life experiences good and bad that will grow you into that person because at the end of the day there is no final destination what really matters is the person that you are and the person that you're becoming on the way and so these things focusing on attributes like work ethic patience positivity being an empathetic person being somebody who's able to look at the broader situation pull out information from things um, someone who can find solutions all of these attributes are going to spread not only in your career as you're figuring that out but just like your life in general and that's what's really going to be important is just pulling from all of your experiences even if you're not where you want to be, even if, I remember I was a waitress for literally like almost a decade, now that I think about it, which is crazy. Um, but there's so much that I learned there that I really use in my day to day. So don't discount where you are and how it will contribute to where you want to be. Similarly, another point that I will say is to plan in advance. You have to plan into your future. When we're making like a marketing campaign, for example, before you plan everything out, you need to set the budget and then you plan into it. Similarly, plan into your future. I knew the job that I wanted to have when I graduated college. I knew the financial position that I wanted to be in. I knew that even though it meant that my savings would be <laughs> rough, <laughs> very rough, I knew that I wanted to travel during school. And so you have to plan into it. You have to plan in advance. To get a job, you have to have experience and then you have to network, X, Y, Z. You have to make sure that you're crossing off those steps before you get to that checkpoint. So for example, as you're looking into the future, things that you wanna do, if you want to be a writer, practice writing now. You can't wait until you get the opportunity to start practicing. You might not be as skilled at it as you wanna be. There are some things in my role now that I wish I had spent more time practicing beforehand, but I didn't have time to, but at least have, have some type of context. At least do what you can to start building your skill set so that way when you enter into the room, you are somewhat qualified or you at least have the context to learn quickly. And that is really gonna be what sets you apart from others and what puts you in position take the opportunities that come as you can kind of like hear from all of these tips so far most of this is about investing in yourself and learning you have to be really open to learning and on this journey you're going to learn what you like and what you don't like and the pieces will kind of like fall together. During school, I did not really have any professional experience in the current field that I'm working in. Everything was from my own like personal projects or interests, things like that. And that was kind of unexpected for me now landing where I am now, but it worked out. And I know that story and I've heard that story in so many people's lives. Like you have to just be open to learning because you might learn, well, I actually want this certain lifestyle or I want to be able to clock out at this time, or I actually don't really like nine to five. And as you're learning these things, doors will close, opportunities will open, but you have to also be willing to shift and pivot and change direction to make room as those new learnings come in. Don't force yourself to stay in a space that you hate, because at the end of the day, we're all made with our desires. We're all made with the things we enjoy. We're all made with the certain things that we're naturally good at and you can't ignore that. Like you're naturally good at what you're naturally good at for a reason. You naturally gravitate towards what you gravitate towards for a reason. And while yes, there definitely like 100% are seasons where you have to do something that you hate, you shouldn't be doing something that you hate for your entire life. I think about this a lot about how the life that I have, the fact that I have the opportunity to choose what I get to do for work every day is such a privilege because there are so, so, so many people who don't get to make that decision. Somebody else made that choice for them. They didn't get the chance to go to school, even if they wanted to. There are some people who no amount of brute force, no amount of effort, no amount of passion could get them out of the situations they are in. 
And that's just the truth of the, the matter. Like that's just the truth. Being in a position where you have the opportunity to make these decisions for yourself, where you have the chance to say, actually, I'm really passionate about this. I want to pursue it. To be able to have access to the internet and just learn about something new or try something new, it is such, such a privilege and it shouldn't be taken advantage of. And that's not to make us feel bad when we don't because there's a lot going on in life every day. It's not easy to get up every day and be consistent and it's just not gonna happen every day. But I think that remembering that the opportunity to pursue your goals is actually a privilege, at least for me, helps to keep me going. There's so many things like the list goes on and on of things to be grateful for. And I think that a lot of times we can be so discouraged. And like I said, there are things to have grace with ourselves about like, it's never fully figured out. We're always learning, we're always growing. But also this opportunity isn't one that everybody has. And so really take advantage of it. And with that, don't minimize your passions. I think for a long time, I was kind of, at fault for putting my more creative passions or what could be seen as superficial passions around like fashion and beauty on the back burner because like how important is it really but it's very important these are things that we can find beauty in and the fact that that as a person you have the opportunity to pursue it in itself is a gift you wouldn't be put in that place and that passion wouldn't be put in you if it didn't have any purpose and lastly you have to force yourself to see the good in every season or at least to keep hope for the future and this is much 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 easier said than done but it's important like i remember during my waitressing days like the nights i was always so tired or like as a resident assistant the times when i was exhausted i would always just tell myself like this is like my backstory. When you're watching like an autobiography, I was like, this is my backstory to my success story. And that's just how you have to look at life because one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be somewhere that you never thought you could be. You're gonna wake up and your prayers have been answered, maybe not in the way that you thought they would, but they have been. The pictures you had on your vision board are now reflected in real life. And those memories of the difficult seasons are gonna be a lot more precious to you. I think while we're in them, it hurts. It's really hard, it's really discouraging, and it can be really easy to give up. Um, especially nowadays, like the job market is absolute trash. Like. I know a lot of people are struggling, whether you have a degree or not, whether you studied STEM or art, people are having a hard time. And it is very, very easy to give up. But really, this is where the importance of learning, the importance of being open to pivot, the importance of trying new things, the importance of knowing that there's value in every step of the way, because then it becomes less about what exactly am I doing, what's the title of my job, and it becomes more about who am I as a person, who am I growing into, who do I know that I am. And those transferable skills are things that you can bring anywhere you go. And as you continue figuring life out, because you'll never stop figuring it out, those things will go with you. You'll at least be going through it with a new skill set, with a new perspective, with new things in your back pocket that will enable you to actually be successful and to go through the difficult seasons with grace and to come out on top and to build community and to look at life in a positive way, regardless of the situation that you are in. And so as you are figuring out life, as you are figuring out, as we're figuring out our early 20s, um, let's just have grace with ourselves and know that the journey honestly never ends, which means that we might as well enjoy it. There's always gonna be two thoughts, the positive thought, the negative thought, and then us getting to choose which one we listen to. And sometimes people can be annoyed by those who choose positivity all the time, but okay like at the end of the day your thoughts dictate the reality that you live in and you have to be able to choose as you're going through this journey to live in a reality that is rooted in positivity because life is hard and there are going to be seasons that are terrible and depressing but let the side that you automatically lean towards be positivity and let life handle the negative side we don't need to be choosing that ourselves it will come when it comes. We don't need to be ushering it and 
bringing it into our lives. So I hope that this was encouraging to you as you are taking steps towards your future, your goals, the purpose that God has put on your life. Um, I know that this is really just things that I tell myself almost every day, if not every day and things that other people have told me. Let me know if this video encouraged you and I will see you next time. Bye.